All right, what's up, guys? So I know it's been a while because uh, me and Jacob have both been busy with uh, uni over the past like three months. But so we're back with the uh, Alteza Daily, my S15 out there. So plans, my plans for these. Uh, first, I'm gonna be kind of, kind of like restoring the Alteza because I took it for a while, and here's the list I got back from it. So there's a reason we. A reasonable amount of stuff to be done to it. I got a few plans for S15, but I need to have a reliable daily going again, so the Alteza is the first thing to do. This area is going to kind of be like uh, almost like restoring the Alteza back to like kind of a clean condition because at the moment she's uh, seen a few track days and she's not looking too well on the outside and underneath. So some of these videos will be me doing like the brakes or some things like the control arms, bushings, and then we'll move on to like the outside, making it look all nice and clean again. And I clean up the engine bay and all the, just all the shit that's kind of gone wrong with it. So yeah, I think in this video I'm going to be just doing the brake pads on the rear, start off nice and easy fix to begin with. And then throughout each video we'll kind of go on to the more difficult stuff and then get the Arteza back on the road and looking nice again. We can start on the S15, which I plan to do, like the transmission, possibly turbo, and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so this video series is going to be somewhere between like a, a how-to and they're just kind of watching me do it. Uh, Jack might make a guest appearance sometime during the series and we get to the more difficult stuff. But for this one, we're just going to be changing rear brake pads. Uh, pretty straightforward, so let's get started. Also, don't forget to open the brake fluid cap to relieve that pressure. Alright, so I'm just doing this from memory, so I believe we take off this top bolt behind here and then loosen the one below it. Yeah, this one just here. Alright, so we end up just taking both bolts off. We got the brake sitting here, make sure you don't put too much tension on the brake lines here, so just leave it on a jack stand or something. We'll just take the pin out, change it to the new brake pads here. Hopefully they're the right ones. I believe these are still stock brakes, but we'll see. Base. 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 So as you can see here, the old brakes, uh, well there's not much left of them. Obviously just be on the racetrack and they're absolutely slamming the brakes every time. Let's choose through the brakes. So here's the new ones. Got a lot there. So we'll chuck these on. Now I'm just going to get a clamp to compress the uh, pistons back to fit the new pads in. Alright, so got that back on, pins back in, that looks all good, so we'll chuck those two bolts back in on the back, and that'll be the brake pad. Alright, so rear brake's done, I uh, probably won't film me doing the other side, do the same thing, repeat the process. So now it's going to check out uh, the exhaust leak and the uh, boot stiff oil leaking from somewhere. We'll take a look at that. Oh yeah, so we got a few leaks coming from some different places. Oh yeah, from the bushes with eye looks of it. I don't think it was a WAF issue, so I'll probably just leave it because it doesn't look like it's leaking too much. And of course there's our exhaust leak. Missing the hangers and stuff. Uh, apparently that's a wall issue, so buy another one of those. The spiders nice. So apparently this needs to have a spring in it, which it doesn't. Yeah, so the red bush is cracking it wasn't a wolf thing, so uh, I'll just leave that because I can't build doing it. Uh, yeah, so I think that'll be all for this video. Uh, I think next video we might get into maybe the front control arm bushings. I think that's quite a common problem, so it'll be a nice video on its own. And then 
got more of the fuel line stuff to go through. Uh, got some wiring stuff. I didn't originally want to do it, but we'll see if we can do some, uh, fix up some of the wiring on it to get the headlights and stuff working. Because the S15 also has some uh, wiring issues. But yeah, so it's first video to our Alteza restoration build. Oh, no, it's not even a build. It's just a. It's not even restoration. It's just getting it back on the road, looking clean again, pretty much. But. But I look forward to getting into fixing up all these because I think we could do a pretty good job on that. Same for the bumpers and the body panels. Also, I believe in the next week or so we should have a new review coming up of a 2JZ S15, possibly, uh, or like a RX7, I think, we've got lined up. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.